for us all to push our bodies into a place that nobody has been before. This has never been done, and the idea that we might sit here over the next two days and try and make a little bit of history is pretty exciting. This is not 29 hours. However you want to think of it, I like to think of it as seven lots of four-hour community rides and a one-hour party. So never mention the word 29 hours again. So Jackie, you have you have an incredible, inspiring story, and you know you've gone through a lot, and it's kind of led you to to what comes next, and that's um, a, an attempt at the Guinness World Record longest spin class in history. This is the, the series that we're doing here is, is short stories. So I think the best place to, to start would be share with us your your kind of short story. I guess, um, yeah, so I had my leg rebuilt in my 20s um, when my hip was sort of sawn in three and pinned back together again. Um, and then I had breast cancer in my early 30s. Um, so at a time when I thought I would be taking the world and dominating everything, I, um, yeah, I was sat in the chemo chair wondering what was going to happen next. Um, and so as a result of that, I, um, I tend to exercise and I started running during chemo. I kept on running, um, ran, a, ran a, my first ever 10k um, during chemo and then um, built from there. And I've learned that um, even though your body might want to throw all the hardest things in the world at you, um, when you take a step forward and try and change your life, um, positive things happen. <laughs> You've done so much. I, I've, I've read about your story. I've chatted to you in the past. And tell me some of the things that you kind of ticked off. Because I understand there was like a top 100 things to do before you're 40. Is that right? Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. So on the endurance side, um, I famously uh, got married around the London Marathon on uh, on my wedding day. I understand that you were married. You got married on the Cutty Sark, right? Yes. Yeah, so we got married on the Cutty Sark at 7.30 in the morning and then walked up the hill and ran the London Marathon. So, and I had my my husband ran at his own pace and my dad ran with me as the father of the bride and he also has a hip replacement so we are definitely doing it for all those people who think that they can't take a step forward um, and that was because my husband or my my partner then um, he proposed to me just three weeks before I was diagnosed with breast cancer so we decided to gift our wedding back to charity in the only way I knew how which was running um, and then um, from then on we just got um, more and more and more um, involved in endurance activities. I then sort of, I did an ultra marathon. So for my five years clear, I did um, an ultra. I walked all the way around the Isle of Wight. I climbed um, Ben Nevis, did a coast to coast cycle um, and a half Ironman. So um, I built up my endurance and my endurance and I've sort of loved all of those things. Um, obviously at the start of this year, I, I turned 40 in a couple of weeks time. Um, and um, what I wanted to do was to set myself some challenges so I sent I, I built a list of the 40 things to do before I'm 40 um, and I've spent the last year uh, ticking those off and the culmination of all of those it's included things like climbing Snowdon I tried paddle boarding for the first time I did a bar class I did lots of different things um, I'd never done before and it all culminated in um, a, yeah the Guinness World Record attempt which is now just um, moments away <laughs> Wow. And tell us more about that. What, what is the challenge exactly? Yeah, so I've built a team of probably going to be about 16 people who are going to sit on a spin bike for 29 whole hours to try and break the Guinness World Record for the longest static cycle in the world. And what I love about it is what I've learned so much about all the stuff that I've done. Not only am I challenging myself, but I'm helping other people 
find a way to challenge themselves too. And I, I, I say to people, over the last few years, I've been on the constant search for my edges and I've not found them yet. And if there's something better than searching for your own edges, it is helping other people do the same. And that's what I've done with the team. And so we've got everything from a former Olympian to a guy in his 50s who's trying to set himself a really big challenge. And you know what? When you bring those kind of people together, um, that's when exercise magic happens. So Claire, December 4th, are you ready? Yes, as ready as can be. Yep, it's two sleeps. And tell me, how did you get involved? Like, was it through Jackie? Like, how do you know Jackie? Um, yeah, it's uh, a bit of a funny story. Um, literally through Burnet Fitness, picked up basically Jackie's sales call um, and reached out to her and, and paired her up with our fabulous trainer, Greta. Um, knowing that she'd be able to get the results that she's looking for, but also personality-wise a really good match as well. And part of obviously the sales is getting to know the client. Um, and I obviously wanted to get to know Jackie so I could pair her up with the right trainer. And part of her story was telling me about this. When she was talking about this challenge, I felt a fire in my belly. Covid uh, health-wise as well as just in lifestyle for everybody uh, stripped a lot of that and felt a bit lost and then one further step into it in February this year February 2021 I got Covid um, and it got me quite badly and then I happened to come across a local cycling club here in Kirby Lonsdale where I live in Cumbria and that was the first step, basically. I could get out and do things, but without the impact on my body, meant that I could slowly return to fitness. Um, and then literally within a couple of months of that, I met Jackie and, and it was that fire again. I felt it's a goal to work towards, a ridiculous goal to work towards, but it doesn't have the impact. Um, if I can, do this, I can do anything. And if anyone makes you think that, Jackie will make you think that. Since meeting Jackie myself, you know, I, I look at my life differently from one conversation with her. Yep. She's incredible. Yep. Like, what have you learned, uh, you know, in her company uh, during your time together? It's life is too short for all of us. And you are, are not in a pessimistic way. You have no idea what could happen tomorrow, whether it is a cancer diagnosis or an accident. And, and, and I say it's not in a pessimistic way because it's not. It's in an optimistic way. Some people, when they say that, it's very dour and depressing. Jackie has spun it and it's about life. It's not about that you might die tomorrow. It's about you live for the next 24 hours or however long it's going to be. With the Guinness World Record attempt, I wanted to find something that had never been done to prove to myself that, you know, I can do something that's never been done. And on paper, I belong on the sofa, but because of exercise, I found a way to get outside and really enjoy life. Um, and yeah, exercise is where it's at. It seems like your purpose has continually shifted like throughout the, this process. Is it, I remember you telling me before, you kind of finish one challenge and then it's like, okay, well, on to the next and then see what happens and on to the next. Is it kind of like that? Yeah, well, I, I guess I sort of set out to challenge my body. I, I mean, it's a bit like, I say exercise is my life insurance policy. So I feel like I've got to be exercising if I'm going to, you know, beat all the things that have taken, tried to take me down in the past. But the thing I've learned from doing all of these things is that actually there's an amazing byproduct when you go out there and you try and do the impossible or the seemingly impossible is that you help other people move forward too. And that is what, um, I've been able to do sort of inadvertently. And my best example of that was the day after um, our, our wedding marathon. Um, I, I received a message from a lady who said that um, because she'd seen our story on the television, because she'd heard about my rebuilt hip and the cancer, she had felt the need to get out of a wheelchair for the first time in six months. 
and you think, wow, I was able to move that person forward and no amount of telling people what to do or you've got to show them what's possible and that's what exercise has helped me do for other people and I never set out to do it but now it's one of my biggest driving forces. Wow, so, so powerful and you know, you, you're, you're on this journey and, and obviously you've ticked off a lot of what I would consider or a lot of people would consider elite endurance level <laughs> feats, you know? Would you consider yourself a, an elite athlete? No, no. I, I like to call myself an endurance tryhard because none of what I do is good, none of what I do is fast, but I have determination and resilience and a drive to succeed. And for me, success is getting to the start line in the first place and then getting to the finish line. And I think that in life, it's not just about being the first over the line, it's about having the, the strength and the confidence to get to the line in the first place. The real reason we're here is because we're here to raise shed loads of cash. Combined bots so far are 25,000 pounds. After this world record attempt, have you considered what's next? Um, probably a little bit of time on the sofa, I'm not going to lie, but I think um, whatever happens, as long as I'm moving, I'm living, and that's all that matters. I can tell you for nothing that if you try, there is a way you can take that next step. And, you know, when I had my leg rebuilt, there were times when I was at the bottom of the stairs and I couldn't take a step. When I had my tummy um, taken out to replace my breast, there was a time when I would count lampposts and walk one lamppost away from my house, two lampposts away from my house, as a way of thinking that I could get back to myself and find a way to, to build exercise back into my life. And having been in both of those positions and having thought there was never gonna be a way to get and to go further and go bigger and run marathons and run ultra marathons and, and cycle for 29 hours on a spin bike, I realize now that, you know, Every, you, you must always look back at where you've come from because that is an amazing story as well. And, you know, step forward, move forward. And, you know, for some people, walking up the stairs is a marathon. But you know what? We are all here and we can all conquer our own marathons together.